Want coins? Yes! Well then make sure you check out UT1Buy.com. You can buy coins or preloaded accounts. Make sure you use the code JARRETHD for 5% off your order. G'day guys, how's it going? It is Jared HD here. Welcome to episode number 62 of the Walsall Road to Glory Career Mode series. We kick off today's episode with the FA Cup quarterfinals replay against Manchester United. The last leg did end up as a one all draw. So we now have the challenge of taking on Manchester United at the theatre of Dreams Old Trafford. Definitely not going to be too easy. Of course, my main focus is on the Premier League, um, but it would be fantastic if we could do decently in the FA Cup. A little bit more money coming towards us, but Roy Krishna in the 26th minute squares it to Payne, and what a save that is from Victor Valdez. Second effort there from Payne, finds the back of the net, however, and we now have a 1-0 advantage in this FA Cup replay, and that is a fantastic way to start this matchup off. Only 12 minutes later, Mansub threading a wonder pass to Lee Kun Ho, but Valdez once again making a fantastic save, and Man United get their first real attack of the game. Rafael through to Daly Blind, and the Dutch midfielder whips it into Di Maria. Angel Di Maria almost scoring an equaliser, and then we hit them on the counter-attack in the second half. Payne through to Kazim Richards. Can he finish this game off? No, he cannot. The 63-rated Turk free agent signing blows it over the crossbar, but he plays it through to Lee Kyun Ho. One-on-one. -on -one. What an amazing save once again from Victor Valdez. This guy is having a freak of a game. But Chris Smalling whips it into Lingard. It goes played out to Marcos Rojo. He plays it to Di Maria. Di Maria looking for an option. Takes it past Flanagan. Takes it past Taylor. God freaking damn it. We held on for so, so long, but Angel Di Maria gets the goal, which is going to send this game into extra time. Bloody hell, lads. We now have another huge task on our hands. We did so well, but we hit them on the counter-attack here. Lee Kun Ho, one-on-one -on -one with Jones. Can he outpace him? No, but he can outskill him. Pass it to Armstrong. Armstrong's to Kazim Richards. Save from Valdez off the post. No, Kazim Richards. You, mate, are having a shocking game at finishing. Three amazing opportunities, and he cannot score. Lee Kun Ho on the volley. Valdez saves it. God damn, we are dominating Manchester United. But we cannot get the go-ahead goal. Pereira to Lee Kun Ho. Lee Kun Ho to Fofana. Fofana puts it in the back of the net. Fofana gives us the 2-1 advantage in extra time. Heading into the second half, and that is insane. But off the kickoff, lads, I fucked up. I was talking outside and thought I'd pause the game. And freaking Man United just played on with it. Passing it to Van Persie. God damn it, I am an absolute freaking idiot. I apologize so much, lads. Completely my fault. And I, oh man, I was so pissed off when I looked back and saw that they'd equalized. But, second half. Krishna, saved by Valdez. What a save by the man. And lads, we are heading to penalty shootout. My bloody fault. I am an absolute spazzo. And I really hope, I am so motivated to get the win in penalty shootouts. Just to make up for it and not get you guys pissed off. But Robin Van Persie with the first penalty. Alan Wick guesses the wrong way, but that is a class penalty from Robin Van Persie, who now plays for Feyenoord in real life. Adam Armstrong, though, straight down the middle. That is a class penalty there, straight down the guts. Di Maria stepping up. Alan Wick, Di Maria, he's going to power this bad boy up. Two and a half bars, goes left. What a save from Jack Alan Wick. A great guess and a great extended save. Krishna, though, two and a half bars. Sends him the wrong way. That is fantastic there from the Fijian Flyer. And then Wilson, the captain, number 49. What can he do? Saves again. What a save. Jack Alnwick having an amazing penalty shootout. Lee Kun Ho to make it three from three. Yes, he does. Valdez stays to the spot. And Lingard, if we save this, I do believe that we do win the FA Cup replay. He hits it off the crossbar. We're heading into the semi-finals of the FA Cup. What a win over Manchester United. That was absolutely insane. And we get £300,000 for our efforts. That is absolutely amazing. 
Oh my god, guys, I did not expect that. But we have to turn our attention now. It's going back to the Premier League. We are travelling to London, Selhurst Pass. Selhurst Park, I should say, taking on 13th place Crystal Palace. We are in third place with a game in hand. So three points here. Man, oh man, that would go quite well. This is the Palace lineup. Not too special, if I must say so. Uh, Duf starting up front, who is always a threat when we come up against uh, Stoke and Crystal Palace. But this is our lineup. Probably one of our strongest lineups. In fact, it is our strongest possible lineup. But 12 minutes into the game, yet a knack. The Aussie skipper almost giving Palace a 1-0 lead. But then Fellaini plays it through to Baxendale. Baxendale running up the wing. He's looking for an option. Cuts around Scott Dan. He's going to square it back to Danny Ings. Danny Ings hits it off the crossbar. And that is a real shame right there. 50 minutes into it, however. Mohamed Diouf plays it through to Joe Ledley. And Nick 28T's doppelganger takes a strike from distance. Able to get there is Unweek. And Ledley blows his lines once again. Pushing on, though. Only three minutes later, Jason Punchin, he's running up the sideline, cutting in, passed it to Yednak. Yednak to Punchin, Punchin back to Ledley, but a good save there from Almwick, keeping it at a nil all score line. We're looking for a go ahead goal. Gold, Ings, back to Gold, fantastic 1 2, and almost a fantastic goal. Ryan Gold only just missing the post. Menno Kosh to Fofana, Fofana through to Baxendale, Baxendale, great ball to Gold, Gold cutting around the defender, and Ryan Gold this time is able to score the go-ahead goal, giving us a 1-0 advantage, 81 minutes into this game, fantastic goal there from Ryan Gold, the Scottish Messi collecting us all three points in this matchup, a very entertaining game back at Selhurst Park as we defeat Crystal Palace 1-0. Goal to nil. And we're going to wrap up today's episode back at home. Leicester City are traveling and taking us on. They are doing surprisingly well. Only three points behind us on 51 points. We do have a game in hand on everybody else. So a win here is definitely quite vital. A lot of the players are tied after the Crystal Palace game, however. So not our strongest lineup, but I am confident that we will be able to do the job over Leicester City. Look at that. They have signed Jordan RU. I think I pointed that out last time we played them. But that is still a class signing for Leicester City. Anyway, Anthony Knockart. Back to James. James to Drinkwater. Drinkwater looking for an option. He's going to play it back out wide to Knockart. And the Frenchman cutting inside past the defenders to Slamami. Whatever his name is. Slamani missing to the left-hand side of the post. Then just before halftime, Knockart. He's having a very influential presence in this game. He's on the the ball once again. First time cross back to Drinkwater. Drinkwater's header only just misses the right hand side of the post. And then as we move on in the second half, 63rd minute, Knockout once again pulling the strings for Leicester. He plays it out to my favorite man, Jeffrey Schlup. Back to Knockout. Knockout to Slomani and Slomani able to miss it once again. Thank God for that. But then with 12 minutes remaining in this game, Ake to Krishna. Krishna gets past the defender. Krishna nutmegs Logan. And Krishna gives us the 1-0 advantage in this game against Leicester. Definitely not deserved at all. Leicester should be winning this game by a country mile. But Roy Krishna has put us in front. Leicester looking to tie things up here. Out Br all Brighton. Crosses it into IU. It goes back post to Richie Delay. And the Belgium right midfielder. Right back I should say. Into Liam Moore. But thank God for that. Liam Moore's header over the post. And lads. With our one opportunity of the game. We have managed to defeat Leicester City. 1-0. Fantastic stuff. But next episode. We will have to face them once again. We are being drawn up against them in the semi-finals of the FA Cup. Not going to be an easy match, but I'm definitely a lot more confident facing them rather than Manchester City or Liverpool. Anyways, lads, if you did enjoy today's episode of the Walsall Road to Glory Career Mode series, make sure that you smash the crap out of that like button. It really helps me out. Subscribe if you are new around here. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Links, as always, will be in the description. But most importantly, lads, I hope you have a fantastic day. It's been Jared HD here. I'm out. Peace.